everybody. So I have some family tea, my family tea to share with you all today. So welcome back to Client Stories with Amy. So I manage roughly 16-ish, 13-ish family kits on my side of the family. My daughter had a rare, has a rare illness and nobody knew what was going on with her. So I DNA tested everybody who was willing and looked at the raw data, put everything together to get her diagnosed. And my husband and I, we figured out what that diagnosis was and took it to the doctors, tested her three times. It was positive. She got her diagnosis because of that. And so because I manage all of these family member kits, I check them periodically. Like, did anybody message us? Anybody looking for answers on their family tree? Anybody needing help? Do we have any new matches that are interesting? Like, what's going on? So I'll check my mama's DNA and she's got a first cousin. I know her first cousins. I know them very well. This person is not a known first cousin. Start looking at the DNA and I'm like, this is on my mama's mom's side. So my grandma's side of the family. I know that there's only one auntie, one uncle to my mama on that side. One of them's got a kid that they didn't know about. So I'm looking, I was like, did my auntie have a secret baby? Did she put a baby up for adoption? Like, what? Is it my mama's uncle's baby? Did he know about this baby? Like, whose kid is this? So I'm doing a little more digging. I'm looking at some things, looking at some dates. So my grandma is born in 39. Her brother is born 10 years later. And the sister was born 10 years later. So each one of these kids, these three kids are all 10 years apart. So doing the math, it wasn't my mama's auntie's. It has to be my mama's uncle's kid. So I message her after I get all my little puzzle pieces together. I'm prepared to know exactly where she belongs in this family tree. And she confirms, yeah, I was adopted in Washington state. And my birth mother's name is this. It's like, ah, what? What? So that birth mother's name, we know her. She is my great uncle's, my mama's uncle's ex-wife. And they have a child together. It's not that child that we just found. They're full sisters. So right about the time of the divorce, they had one last fling and she became pregnant, didn't tell nobody, and just put that baby up for adoption. She kept the older, the older child, my mom's older cousin. They're about three years apart. The old the cousin and the new cousin the DNA match cousin they're there about three years apart but yeah so my great uncle had a child that he didn't even know existed so I've been able to fill her in with some photos and give her some of the family history and get her in connected with some of the family and she's a really cool lady um, she owns a farm in Washington and it's like a tourist attraction for the fall and it's really really cool she's really sweet and she looks just like the rest of that family very very white pale skin very very light blue eyes very light blonde hair she literally looks like her sister her full sister they're so identical it's crazy but yeah that is the family tea that we encountered but that's it for today don't forget to hit like follow and share and if you don't know who your biological parents are come see us we're happy to help go to our link tree at the top and go visit us on our website and click request a search angel but i'll see you later bye